As you watch the training video, this symbol will let you know when the trainer has pressed a stimulation button. Okay, now we're going to work on collar conditioning on heel. Start on leash, sit. And remember, this is the natural process of going from here to heel. It works out real well because you've been making your corrections on here, so they're much more likely to stay in the heel position. It makes it go a little bit smoother. Let's give it a shot. Okay, heel. 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 Good. Heel. Good. Good. Keep in mind as you go through this, change your pace. If your dog's lagging, go faster. If your dog's going too fast, you're going to slow it up. You dictate the pace, not the dog. Really important as you go through this. Heel, neck as I turn. Little, little pull on the leash. Heel. Atta boy. Okay. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Heel. Okay. Good boy. Heel. For those of you that are going to be sneaking up on some ducks, it would be nice if you're walking up to have your dog heel at your pace. It may be this pace here. You don't want him charging out in front of you. Good boy. Okay. Good. And do some moving back. Heel. Okay. Good boy. And then make lots of turns. Don't go 100 yards one direction. You're trying to get in a few necks. And keep in mind, Iceman is very animated here, so my praise to him is going to be heel. Good boy. A little bit more on the quiet side. If you have a dog that is not quite this animated, you could actually use more praise. It would be heel. Good boy. Good boy. It kind of gets him going a little bit out of control, but you could use that with a dog that wasn't quite this animated. And we're not looking for perfect heel here. We're looking just to teach the dog what the heel nick means. Heel. Atta boy. So it's, we're not looking for perfection. If the dog happens to get on the wrong side of you and while you're healing it, just bring it back and guide him back in with the lead. Don't use the collar for that. Just guide him back in with the lead. All right, good boy. A couple more. Heel. Atta boy. Heel. Atta boy. Okay, let's go. All right, we're going to try some heel on lead with some distractions here. Heel. 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 Good boy, good boy. Okay, good boy. Atta boy. Good job right there, atta boy. All right, we're gonna do some collar conditioning off leash now. When they get to this point, they need to be pretty reliable on the leash. You've done most of your distraction work on the leash until you pretty confident they have the idea. Now we're gonna take it to off leash and my corrections are gonna be made just with the e-collar. And if you run into a little bit of trouble, you can always go back on leash if you need to. All right, here we go, let's see what happens. All right, heel, heel, same thing applies. Same timing, heel. And they're gonna be a lot better at this point, so you're probably not going to heal. Need quite as many nicks with it, but the same process we went through on leash, heal. So you're gonna slow up, you're gonna speed up, you're gonna make your different turns, heal, heal. Heal, good boy, sit. Don't forget to praise them a lot and read your dog. If you have a dog that, um, not quite as animated as this guy, you can give a little more praise. Heel. 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 We got a good distraction there, a bird flying off. Heel. Bird flew out of the tree and he went for it. I just gave him a little heel nick. <laughs>